Morning guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. How are you doing this morning? Grab your coffee, pull up a chair, and let's sit a spell. I have Christmas music playing in the background. I have a dryer going in the background, so you might hear it. And I just finished washing the dishes, so I've been busy this morning. I'm getting ready to wrap Christmas presents because Christmas is only 40 days away. And Thanksgiving's only 13 days away. And no, I can't show you my presents because the kids watch this and I don't want them to see what I got. I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. But I had bought my stuff way back. You saw my videos, so you know that I bought my stuff way back on sale. Didn't pay that much for it. Um, since the holidays are coming up, I cook more breads and such. So what I like to do is make my um, mixtures ahead of time. I mix the dry ingredients ahead of time. Now I use a bread machine so my recipes are for a bread machine. Don't ask me how to convert it to doing it by hand because I honestly don't know. I have arthritis in my hands so I can't stand and knead that long. So I use the dough setting on the bread machine. And this recipe that I'm doing today is from Amy's bread machine roll video. I think she made it about five years ago and I will attach it in the description. The only thing I did different is I changed the two tablespoons of sugar to three tablespoons of sugar because I wanted a little bit um, sweeter roll. But I'm going to show you how to do the mix. Now this mix, if you have family that has bread machines, a lot of people are going back to the bread machine. So if you have family that uses a bread machine, this would be a good gift for them. But I'm gonna show you how to mix the basic ingredients and then you can just sit these in the refrigerator and when you get ready to use them, you just pull them out and dump your ingredients into the bread machine. Now you have to add your liquids and your yeast at the time you start to make the bread because you can't mix that up ahead of time. But what I have here is just, um, let me see if I can get you just a little bit lower here so you can see. Okay. All right, what, I, what I'm using is just plain old all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour. I was out of bread flour, so I'm using all-purpose. And you will need just regular table salt and just regular um, sugar and also let me find what I did with it I set it somewhere hold on a minute let me find it okay I'm back I had to find my yeast now if you're using packet yeast like this you can just drop the packet down in the um, jar and if you want to give it for a gift then you've already got it there I know I'm cutting part of my head off here let's see but you can do that. So I happen to have some packet yeast, so I'm just gonna show you. All right, in the jar, now you can do this in a baggie, it doesn't matter, any container. I've got three cups of the all-purpose flour. Now remember, when you're measuring flour, don't pack it in, just loosely put it in your cup. There's three cups of flour in there. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Okay. And then I am going to add one teaspoon of salt. That's all it is. That's it. That is all you need. Now, like I said, you can, if you have the packet yeast, you can stick that down in here put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator, decorate the jar, attach the recipe, you can use it as a gift, or just put it in the refrigerator for yourself. Let me turn this back up so you can see. But to make the rolls, what you do in the bread machine, in the bread machine you're going to put in one cup of lukewarm water, and then you're gonna put in one fourth cup of oil, you can use vegetable oil, any kind of oil you want to as long as it doesn't have a really strong flavor and then on 
top of that, you're going to pour this mix in. The last thing you're going to do is put your yeast on top and then turn your bread machine on the dose setting. And it usually takes, mine takes an hour and a half. I don't know how long yours takes, but mine takes an hour and a half. I think most of them do. And then when it cuts off, you're going to take it out of the machine, punch it down, and I roll mine into a roll, and I cut it into 12 even pieces, roll it into a ball, put it on my parchment paper, on my pan, a sheet pan, and then I'll cover it and let it rise 30 minutes to an hour. And then you're gonna bake these rolls at 350 for, it says 12 to 15 minutes, but I found out it's better about 15 to 20 minutes. Now the last five minutes, I will brush the tops with melted butter, but they make the best, fluffiest rolls. My grandsons love them. They can eat a whole pan by themselves. But like I said, I'm going to attach the uh, video below where she made them, and you can watch her make them. So, like I said, they make a good um, Christmas gift too, if you know someone that has a bread machine. And I don't know about you, but if I've got the ingredients mixed up ahead of time like this, I mean, just, it didn't take but what? A minute and a half, two minutes to mix this? But if I've got them ahead of time, I'm more apt to pull this out of the refrigerator and make the bread. So I like to make my mixes ahead of time. Now I will be making some um, Amish bread. And when I do that, I'll show you how to do it also. But like I said, this is Amy's bread machine roll mix. So try it, I think you'll like it. All right, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back Monday. My challenge ends on the 19th, so I'll be back Monday with that final menu. And uh, I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.